Welcome back everybody! I... I don't even know what to say. I have not made a video since February. It is now June. So, yeah. I've uh, just had a lot of things going on. Uh, finishing up school. Uh, graduated from college. I got a new job, so I started a new job. And then I just moved, so that's why this looks different. Um, I couldn't really find the time to film. I just felt like I was going, going, going all the time, and then as soon as I would get home, the last thing I would want to do was put on a full face of makeup, so I just laid in my bed and went to sleep. So, anyway, now I'm at a point where I have a normal schedule. I'm working just like 8 to 5 every day. I have weekends off. I have like all the time in the world, basically, so videos will become regular again. So, um, for this video, I went ahead and did a very summery, bronzy look. This is what I'm going to call like a golden goddess thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've just been really into golds lately. They're super easy. They're super wearable, especially for any eye color, any skin tone. Um, depending on the color gold that you pick, whether it be super light or super like in your face gold, I think it's beautiful on anybody. So yeah, I went ahead and created this look. It's so easy. You can take it from day to night so fast. This is what I consider to be like a nighttime look. You can even add like a wing liner if you wanted, but I did add lashes. Um, the crease color is a little bit darker, so you could simply, simply, simply tone this down and then wear this for every day. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I feel like I just zoomed through that intro, like... Oh, okay, so I was reviewing my footage because I wanted to see where I left off, like I always go back and watch the clip that I had just filmed, and my camera died. Uh, but yeah, then it just cuts off, but don't worry, all you missed was wiping away bake, and then I just added a clear gloss. This is White Russian by Buxom, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite summertime gloss. So yeah, I'm just going to shut up now because I feel like I'm going a mile a minute. So yeah, without further ado, if you want to see how I created this golden goddess look and how you can too, just keep watching. Bye guys! All right, so to start off, we are going to start with our eyes. Per usual, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade 10, which is light, I believe. So I'm just going to put this all over my eyelids, and then I'm going to start buffing this in with one of my um, BH Cosmetics concealer brushes, I think is what they're called, or like an angled foundation brush. I don't know, but this is the way that I usually prime my eyes, just because it's easy, um, it works for me, and I don't have to buy like an eye primer, even though... I do have eye primers, I've never really found one that I love, so I usually just use concealer. And then for shadow today, we are going to use the Morphe 350 palette. It's a very warm and neutral palette, so I thought it was perfect for this look. And I'm going to use this cream shade and then this kind of like warm, neutral, brown transitions shade. I don't know exactly what it's called because they don't have names. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to buff this in the crease. I am starting on the outer corner of the eye and then just moving it up in the crease. That way I can give a little bit more definition to the outer corner. Uh, but this is just going to help basically be a base for the rest of our eyeshadow. Then I'm going to grab this light orangey shade and neutral brown and with a smaller more dense blending brush I'm going to start in the outer corner again and then move it up into the crease. Basically the same motions that I was just doing. I'm just going to use a little bit more of a dense brush because these colors are a little bit darker and then I can concentrate them in the crease a little bit more. And I notice that I do this a lot. I really love to mix eyeshadow colors, especially neutral ones, because I can kind of like make my own shade, if that makes sense. So usually you're going to find me mixing shades rather than just using like one for one specific part of my eye. And now I am just going back with those same two colors just to deepen everything up. I did leave a little bit more pigment on my brush this time because it wasn't as dark as I had wanted it to be. And next up, I'm going to grab one of my Z palettes that I have a bunch of shimmer colors in, and I am going to grab Coastal Scents Pure Bronze, and this is going to be for all over the lid. I absolutely love these shadows. They're so cheap, and as long as you pick the right ones, they're seriously amazing. 
So what I did just there was spritz a little bit of Fix Plus. Fix Plus, I cannot speak. Fix Plus on my brush, and this is like a flat shader brush. It's very similar to the MAC 242. And I'm just gonna throw this all over the lid from inner corner to outer corner, being careful to keep it away from the crease because we don't want this color to transfer into our crease. If that happens, sometimes you can look a little bit muddy or a little bit greasy, and that's just not what we're going for today. Then I decided that I wanted a little bit more like pop on the center of my lid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab um, Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma, which is this really frosty, pinky, kind of like, a, it's a highlight shade basically. And I'm just gonna throw that on the very center of my lid. That way when you see me like straight on, I'll have a really nice pinky shimmery sheen right in the center of my eye. And now I'm going to prep uh, my eyes for false lashes and I'm just going to curl my lashes really quickly. What I like to do is just do small little pulses. I feel like they really do curl the lashes better and they hold the curl a little bit longer doing it this way. And then for mascara, I'm just going to use this little sample size of the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. I love this mascara. I love the brush. The brush is absolutely perfect for bottom lashes as well because it's so skinny and the bristles are very short. Um, fair warning, my eyes are extremely red in this video. It's because I have a fan that's straight on um, and it was blowing in my eyes. So I swear to God, I'm not sick or anything. My room is just so hot and I need a fan going at all times. Um, but I'm going to put false lashes on next. I didn't do it on camera because I was having serious problems. And yeah, oh, hello, creepy face. Okay, but yes, they are the MAC 1, um, not 113, 35s, sorry. And then we're going to move on to skin. This is the Becca Backlight Perfecting Primer. Is that what it's called? It's so long, I have no idea. But I'm just going to work this into my skin with my fingertips. Always make sure that your hands are clean when you're going to touch your face with makeup. Um, it'll just help prevent breakouts, even though I have like three or four on my chin right now. But yes, and then for foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, and this is in the shade 125. And I do like to start this on a brush first and then go back and pounce it in with a beauty blender. So this is just a Real Techniques um, like buffer foundation brush it came in a set of like 10 I love it it's really soft and they hold up really well so yeah like I said I'm just gonna move this around my skin and then I'm gonna go back with my beauty blender and pounce everything in to make sure that everything is smooth and there's no lines or anything like that Now that we're done with that, we're going to move on to brows. I personally like to do my brows after foundation, that way I can clean them up with concealer or foundation after the fact. Uh, but I am using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Ash Brown. And then after I kind of like get the shape that I want, I will leave this on about the outer two thirds of my brow, and then for the inner corner of it, I'll go ahead and use Taupe, which is a much lighter shade, and it fits um, the inner corner a lot better. I do like my inner corner to almost look not filled in if that makes sense And I use a very cool tone light shade for the rest of my brow that way. It's not too harsh And then my mom got a sample of the new Goof Proof uh, Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade number two. So I thought I would just go ahead and throw that in my brow routine today. All I'm doing is just kind of filling in small pieces that I may have missed if there's any like sparse hairs or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this pencil is going to take a little bit of getting used to. It has a very interesting shape, but so far I really do like it. And for concealer, we're going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. And I like to put this on the back of my hand and then grab my concealer brush and then transfer it to my face. That way I'm not using my fingertips. So I'm just going to put it in the normal places underneath my eyes. And then I'll put it on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, just a little bit to lighten that area up on my chin. And then a little bit on my forehead. And yes, it looks like I am using so much product, and honestly I am, but don't worry, if you use a beauty blender to blend everything out, it'll make sure that all the excess product goes into the sponge and nothing will get cakey or disgusting. And we blend, 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 blend. 
make sure that you really are blending really well with your concealer. Like I said before, you don't want it to look cakey, you don't want it to look like crusty and disgusting, so just make sure that you're working all of the product into your skin. And to set the under eyes, I'm going to use my Airspun powder as always. This is just the translucent shade. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of powder on my sponge and then run that underneath my eyes. This helps to tap out all the creases and make sure everything stays in place. And then I will throw that on my nose too, just because I do get very oily there and then also on my chin. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium and a big Real Techniques fluffy brush and just run this all over my neck just to make sure everything blends and then the rest of my face just to set my foundation. And this wouldn't be a Golden Goddess tutorial without a shimmery bronzer and I'm going to use the new Too Faced Sweet Tea. Um, bronzer kit I guess so it has two different shades and I usually just mix them together and this gives the most beautiful natural looking bronzy sheen I wear this almost every single day when I get ready for work just because it's so effortless and so easy and one side is very cool toned and the other side is a little bit more warm toned so mixing them together gives you like the perfect everyday bronzer <music> Then I'm just going to add a little bit of contour today. I'm using my NARS Laguna bronzer and another Real Techniques brush. This is the contour brush, I believe is what it's called. And I'm just going to throw this on my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead. I am going to focus this towards the back of my cheekbones. I won't bring it too far into like the apples of my cheeks. And I also run it on the sides of my nose as well, just for a very like soft cheek, or not cheek, soft nose contour. Because this look is intended to be like a nighttime look, I am going to bake underneath my contour line and I'm using the e.l.f. contour brush and then my airspun powder and I'll just let that sit while I finish the rest of my makeup. And then for the glow today, we are going to use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. I love this stuff and I'm going to wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus just to give it even more um, intensity and this is the Morphe M501 and we're going to run this just on the high points of our face. So our cheekbones, the bridge of our nose, and then you can do like your cupid's bow. I always like to do above the brows as well. You can do your chin if you want, um, but I have been getting very oily lately so I'm trying to stay away from highlighting my chin. But why stop at one highlight? Let's go ahead and add some MAC Soft and Gentle because this is a Golden Goddess tutorial and why not? And we're just going to put this on the apples of the cheeks. That way when you smile, you'll see like a nice little bing of light. For blush, we're going to use the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in the shade Video. It's a great peachy shade, perfect for this look. And then I'm going to use my Morphe E4 brush. We're going to start this on the apples of our cheeks and then just ever so slightly bring it back towards the ear, but not too far because you don't want to have a bunch of like pigment back towards there. <laughs> For the lower lash line, I am going to use that last like neutral mid-tone brown that I used on my eyes and just throw this kind of tight towards the lashes. This will help to give the eyes a little bit more definition and to make them a little bit more round. And then we're going to go ahead and highlight as well. I'm going to use MAC Nylon. There it is. And then I will start this on my brow bone and then I'll also do my inner corner with this as well. I really, really, really love this shadow, especially for summer because it has a great like yellow undertone and it's so frosty and so shimmery. Then I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes with some mascara and this is going to be where my camera dies. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I do apologize about the long hiatus that I took, but I'm back and we'll see you next time.